It's all connected. 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 Welcome. The almost December day. Well, welcome to the end of November. And uh, and uh, nice to see you, Vincento. Hey, hey. All right. So <laughs> anyway, welcome to everybody there in the chat and wherever yeah. else other people may be listening in from, whether now live or later on on the podcast. Glad to have you with us. I am Grimner, and my lovely co-host is... A uh, Cirk. Circle, circle, circle. Yes, yes. Uh, so, <laughs> any, anyway, today's topic is about time. Time is not absolute. It is not. It is not. Oh. Because, well, think about it. Oh yeah, did I mention we're on RealLibertyMedia dot com and. RLMRadio.xyz. Did I mention that? Well, at least in this dimension, right? Well, right. Well, oh, see, no, not even dimension, but this locality. I, I mean, if you're a human living here on the planet of Earth, then then we have things that we, we, we decide this is time. And time is based upon the movement of the the, the Earth around the sun and the Earth rotating uh, at a certain speed, so you can measure the time, like that. But what if what if you're not here on Earth? What if you're on the Moon? Do you, do you have time? And if so, how do you measure it? But of course you have time. Okay, but what, time because time is movement. What what time zone are you in? On what time zone? As, as, if you have movement, you have time. Why do you have to have movement to have time? Well, I didn't say you did, but I know that if you have movement, then you have time. I didn't say you. maybe you have time without having movement. That could be it. I don't know. But I'm right. How would you move physically if you didn't have time? Then you'd have no speed. Okay, so movement is time, I guess, but time is not necessarily movement. Oh... <laughs> it's maybe yeah. definitive. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, like I said, you know, if you're on the moon, what time is it? Is there? Is it? Does the moon have time zones? You have to have to come up with certain like uh, different different. Like it goes on Israeli time zone. Israeli time zone. The moon is on yeah. Israeli time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like most. Everything else that is either on or evolving this planet, right? Is is Mars also on Israeli time? I don't think so. I don't know. I haven't to- spoken to anybody on Mars. All right. Oh, so you've spoken have to people? Have you? Pe- have you spoken to people on the moon? No. Oh, okay. This but I heard rumors. Ah, oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> does Israel have like a patent on time? No, they're just, you know, they get to name everything, right? Oh, I get to name shit. I was unaware of that. See, now now in the chat there, Vinny is saying, hello, Beth, long time. Yeah. <laughs> so, so. Long time. That doesn't make sense, though, right? Does that mean you're moving really slow or, or are you moving really fast, though, and then time becomes long? Well, it's it's that that thing, you know. Um, it's the thing. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. <laughs> thanks, Joe. Um, and, you no, know, uh, uh, you, you know, like uh, if you're you're sitting like in a waiting room at a doctor or something, mm. a minute is much longer than if you're like on a roller coaster, because that time goes by really fast, boom. But you know, if you're waiting for something. It's uh It's a long it's time. A long... 
Yeah, it's relative. It's relative, exactly. Rob works, and by the way, the uh, the the topic I stole time is not absolute. Uh, it was actually an Einsteinian type thing. Einsteinian. How do you say his name? Einsteinian. Einsteinian. Okay. Einsteinian. <laughs> so it's all relative. He, he he he's the one that uh, made that a famous thing, the theory of relativity. Um, mm. Yeah, so um, uh, what, what time is it where you are? Uh, right now, it's 20.05. Or 8.05 to Americans, 8.05 p.m. Um. <laughs> Which is weird. I mean, that's just confusion. I don't even understand that. Yeah. If there's 24 hours in a, in a day, right? There are 24 hours in a day, but there's only 12 a.m. Then- hours and 12 p.m. hours. That makes no sense. Uh, well, to me, it's twenty oh six. And 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 how long is a year? Uh well, that depends, though, right? But in overall, what we say is three hundred and sixty-five days, right? It's right, but it's not accurate, is it? No, it's not. So it's twenty-four hours in a day, not either. Either it's not accurate. No, it's not. So they they put these measurements on time and then they got them all wrong. <laughs> mm. Would you rather we were completely precise and you had to walk around with a dot 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 this does twelve forty five dot thirty seven blah blah? Because then you would have like if you were to be really precise, you would have to incorporate um, geographical coordinates, right? So instead of just having a time, you would have a time and a place. Wouldn't you? Um, I'm thinking about that. Um, oh. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I. I think there's there's probably more emphasis on time than there needs to be. On, well, the on the concept of time, though, right? Because because oh. you know the natural fabric of time as part of you know space. Well, I, that's I, one thing, right? Well, time, okay, see... But on the experienced, linear, human scale of time, whatever that is. Right. That's that's where everything is focused on time, on this uh, be on time, don't have time, got to do on time. Ran out of time. I ran, ran out, out of time. time. Time's all, my time's all gone. No, no, no. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, out in space, uh, there's no time out there. I mean, really, uh, just stuff going on, and and they're they're not out there. The planets aren't out there measuring time. They're not. But you, but but do you think that? Because I don't think that um, time is linear. I think humans' experiences conceptualizes time into linear. See, and Beth Beth points out that time in dreams can be fuzzy. It usually is. Uh, I mean, because you can have a dream that seems like it took hours or days or weeks, and it was a a few seconds, you know. Yeah. But you, you saw it. You had been spending your entire life or however, whatever period of time your dream lasted for. Uh, mm. not in earth-based time, but in brain-based time. <laughs> but just imagine, right? Because the tinier, it seems so, right? The tinier you get, the faster time moves for you, right? Because tiny... a fly, that's why you can't swat a fly though, right? I could swat a fly. Yeah, but you have, you know, if you just try to, you know, swat a fly, you have to somehow have something that swats really fast. Or, but a fly's time, experience of time, is way faster than yours. So to a to a fly observing you, you move very slowly, right? I would think so, but uh, I don't know if there's actually their entire their entire time span is speeded up, so they live in a different time. Cause live they, in a different altogether tempo and speed. Because they only live for a few days, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, so they're entire and, and they, they their hearts and their brains are way more connected, right? So so they you see you experience them in some snapshots, right? What? And so does they. Well, you see, okay, you see something, you register it. You see something, you register it, right? Okay. That those nano itty bitty seconds from you seeing something from something happening until you register it and it happens in you, right? That's right. shorter for the fly, so they have way more frames per second. You would think, but I I, I have no evidence of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that, see, they live on, um, no, but they have speed. It's not like they have a watch and they know an hour went by. That's human measurement. Right. But time is speed. That's why it's a fabricated, that's why it's part of, of space time, though, right? Because right. you can't have movement without having time. Because as soon as something moves, it il you know there is an elapse. Time passed. Time passed. In because you had movement, so now you you moved into you know it's like you have you know the three dimensions, and then you have the fourth dimension of time. And when you move that into the fifth dimension, then every time you have movement from the fourth to the fifth dimension, time will have lapsed. Therefore, there is time, no matter uh, human um, clocks or what we think of it or the concept of human time. That's different from that, right? We experience all that linear. Yes, we do. Absolutely. Yeah. Because that, that's how we see it. That's where, that's why the you know the, the time keeping devices work is because yeah we we see things on that linear scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and you know it's it, well so let because there is a, like an omni though, right? And Where I'm, everything that could have happened, everything that did happen, everything that's going to happen, everything that uh, <laughs> was, is, and everything, the omni of everything, right? There is that that all exists in that dimension. That's like the omni of everything. Explain the other omni. Tenth dimension or omni as in everything, right? Um, omni is everything? Yeah. Omni as in everything. So there you have the the tenth or eleventh dimension, right? Where all the universes that ever could have been and would have been, every outcome of every choice, right? Every possibility in the universe exists within the omni. And yeah. we are part of that. We're simply just constrained to looking at this one itty bitty tiny part of it. And because we're three dimensional people you know, human beings are three-dimensional beings, right? Right. You are forced to walk that tiny thread of that whole 10 or 11-dimensional omni, right? Where everything already existed. But you, as we and me, we are bound to walk that little thread uh, as a sequence or a linear walk because we are bound to three dimensions plus the experience of the fourth dimension of time without the understanding of it, right? Right. Well, you know so that, that would be time. You know that everything you see already happened. So you're looking at the past. When you're sitting there, you're looking at your computer, and you mm. see, and whatever it is, it doesn't matter what you're looking at. Uh, it's, it's, it's something that's already happened, and it may only be a few nanoseconds, from you seeing it to you to to you uh, uh, comprehending it, but all of that 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 stuff, everything, everything is already in the past. So yeah. You're, so you're seeing through time because you have process time, <laughs> right? There's yeah. process time. Sure. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, if, if you were... So you're living on delay with right. a lag, Grimner. How's your lag? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I, I see 188 milliseconds on my lag time. Um. 
<laughs> you think maybe, um, uh, you know, spliffs and getting stoned kind of, you know, slows everything even more than well, that? Well, in, in that relative way, um, yes. Uh, it increases because, your lips. You know, you, 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 you slow down your, your uh, realization of what's happened. Maybe it's slightly slower, so so you have uh, elements that you can that can cause you to either appear, uh, whether it is that way or not, uh, to speed up or slow down time. And mm. apparent, according to Rob, I see through time, but everybody sees through time. It's just to what degree? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, and it's true, Rob. Movement is only relative to something because you got to move from something to something. You know, whatever it's a physical movement, or you you move from one state to another state. You know, whatever state there is. State of mind. State of mind, or state of being, or uh, you know, but it's still movement, and so there is time. Otherwise, how can stuff move if its time doesn't pass? Well, it, okay. <laughs> like an ether, right? Everything needs a media, doesn't it? In 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 the in the three dimensional physical plane, yes, everything mm. does. Mm. Sure, but as you were talking about the ether. Uh, That's kind of an interesting idea, the ether. Isn't it? I'm not saying time is an ether, but uh, maybe some some way, right? In some way. But the ether is an interesting idea, I think. It is an interesting idea, but in the ether, is there time? Or is everything... I would say so. Or is everything always now? Uh, well, I would say there is time because ether is a medium, so something would have to move through it. Right? But, it, but if you were existing on the ethereal plane, mm. would you not be able to see all time, every instance of, of time? Uh, yeah, because that that would be that's part of the fabric of everything, though. Right. So of course you would. Course. Time is is I I don't see how how time could not be. If you don't have time, and I'm not talking about you know the the human experience of time and watches and measurements, I'm talking about you know the concept of something um, evolving and that happens over time. But time is changed. time is time is a measurement, is it not? I, I say what? Well, no. Time's we put not... measurements on time because we can we can use it to me when we apply measurements, we can use it to measure stuff. But I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say time is not measurement as in itself. So if there were no clocks, no watches, no calendars. We, you'd still have time. You'd still have time. You just wouldn't know what time. Yeah, you just wouldn't have a word for it, but then you'd probably have a, a big tree by or sun by tree. You know, when are we meeting? When sun hits tree or tomorrow? Okay, see you, buddy. Uh, that's just measurements. But, but you would still have... Uh, I don't see how you can have... When something can move from one place to another or uh, change in some form to another, there is a, a, a past and a present. And, and as long as it keeps moving or changing, there is a, there is a future too. It, is there, though, a past or yeah. a present, or is there only now? Well, I, I can only say as a human being, I experience everything, everything that happens, everything as, a, as the most central thing of all my experiences is what happens right now, what happened yesterday. That's the whole concept of the time. 
So I would say for the human experience, time is very linear and very dominant. Okay. It is. I, I would agree with that. Um. <laughs> yeah, because there's, you know, now and then memory, right? Just look at how, how people are fascinated with capturing the now. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's the most elusive thing there is, right? And yeah. still the most present thing there is. <laughs> but how do you capture the now? Because by the time you think of doing that, the now is already the past. That's because you capture time, you capture the now by stopping trying to capture it. The minute okay. you stop that and you stop, and that means the minute you stop with your observation or your being in the moment you're in, when you stop judging it or measuring it or trying to capture anything about it, but you're actually just pure uh, experiencing then you would be in the now, right? Then you captured the now, but you wouldn't know it because the minute you would say, uh, there, it, then it, it would be gone, though, wouldn't it? It is gone, yeah. That's, that's, uh, because you live in lack. <laughs> <laughs> right. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so the minute you try to screen save your now, right, you already lacked. Right. That, it's past. It's gone. Yeah, yeah. You try to live in the now, Grimnir? I try to do my best to not care about time. Of course, I can't always do that because, for example, this program, it comes on at a certain time on a certain day every week. So there's a week there, there's a hour mm -hmm. there, and there's a, a, you know, a minute, whatever. Uh, so it, yeah. so you have to respect time uh, <laughs> in order to be able to uh, do things uh, on a schedule. Um, and, and the reason for that, of course, is if th there wasn't that thing that we scheduled at a specific time, nobody would know that we were on, right? Would yeah, be... but do you feel the same way about holidays? Things Holidays? that kind of give pause to every day, and then you have some some dates that we, you know, stop up and celebrate and go, this is a special day. And something yeah, like I generally don't like holidays. Um, uh, you know... Yeah, I do. Okay, that's great. But for me, it's like they, they mess stuff up, you know. They mess up the flow <laughs> of business, um, the, the flow of... All kinds of various things, and and then you look at the reasons behind most of the holidays, and, and it's and it's generally nonsense. Um, no, it's not. Look at Christmas. Okay, look at Christmas. That's, That's not a, nonsense. Uh, okay, maybe the uh, idea that you have uh, for Christmas is not nonsense, but the day itself, this uh, December twenty fifth. Uh, is not the day that that is supposed to be the day behind uh, the the reason you're saying okay this is the the birthday of Jesus Jesus Christ right no it's not no it's not it's I Christmas. don't celebrate no Christmas Chris, no, Chris, no Jesus Christ birth. mass not. Christ that's what it, that's what they tell you it's the sun coming back no and that, that might be that might be how Jesus became the whole how it became the whole Jesus thing right because <laughs> you know you have you have uh, the sun coming back you know the birth of the sun the twenty fourth I don't know is the is the first day after the shortest three days right. So yeah, that the, is where the right, sun is right, reborn, the 20, the, right? The, 20, the 21st is the uh, winter solstice. Shortest day. Right. And then you have three short days, and then on the 24th, the, the sun comes back, right? Well, it started, so the, day, the days the, start the getting rebirth, longer. That's the rebirth of, of the sun coming back to give us light. How's that, a, how's that not a perfectly good reason to have a light festival throughout the darkest month? We start tomorrow on the first of December, and we light candles and take take flowers 
indoors. I have these beautiful hyacinths standing on my table. And it's all about creating light and and colors and cozy and warmth for the next 30 fucking dark days. <laughs> okay. That's beautiful. No, it's, it's wonderful. And any reason to have a, a celebration of whatever type you prefer is great. But the, the but the thing is, it's it's not honest. I mean, there's the reasons they tell you that this is the the day of this is is incorrect. It's wrong, and, and they just stare you down that uh, that that path so that everybody uh, celebrates for the same specific reason. Anyway, those that that buy into whatever. Uh, the the stated cause uh, for, for for that holiday is. I don't know. To me, it's I meet up with my friend. I meet up with my family. We start the day. We play dice and raffle off cheap presents and have a lot of fun. Then we eat a fuckload of duck and pork, <laughs> drink a lot of wine, and then we dance around the tree and sing silly songs about Christmas. And then we open presents and then we have more wine. Okay. I kind of like that we do that every year on the twenty fourth. Okay, no, and that's great. And that 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 twenty uh, fourth for you, yeah, yeah, is Christmas. Yeah. Although and then we eat for three days. After al- that. Although it's actually on the twenty fifth. No, that's your wicked, weird ways of doing it. Oh, I, I looked at my calendar. And it, <laughs> I looked at my calendar, and it shows December twenty fifth, Christmas. No, 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 no. The twenty fourth is Christmas. <laughs> All right. The twenty fifth is the first day of Christmas. Then you have the second day of Christmas, and then some people even do the third day of Christmas. And usually, it that involves traveling around to your family and eating more food for three days. All right, well, what about the other nine days? There are no other nine days. Well, what about that song, The Twelve Days of Christmas? We don't have that song. You do have that song. Hmm? (laughs) Twelve Days of Christmas? Yeah, you know the song. I think we have have the same melody, but we sing something else. Oh, okay, okay. I think. So yeah. you don't you don't get partridges and pear trees and and no no five no. golden rings and uh, no lords a leaping whatever the hell that is <laughs> no. no we don't <laughs> no no <laughs> maids of milk no. I want I want to see those maids of milking um I don't I don't know, I forget what day they're on but it might be like the seventh so, do you do like Christmas calendars where you count down from the first to the twenty fourth well or the twenty fifth no 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 Christmas is the twenty fifth that's all that's all oh, I here know. it starts first of December and then you have t v calendars where they do shows of twenty four episodes everything is twenty four you have ca- gift calendars and um chocolate calendars and you, you have calendar lights where you have to you know, burn down every day. No, that that sounds like some Jewish thing. What was that deal? They lit the they lit the deal, uh, the menorah. Is that what it's called? And uh, and it burned for three days or seven days, and it was only supposed to burn for one night or whatever. <laughs> what yeah, that? we do Advent too. Uh, but that's only like uh, the fourth Sundays of December. Chanaka. It's more regular here. It's more regular here to do the twenty fourth, twenty four days of Christmas. Okay, and so on. I like Christmas. Since, oh, no, I, I'm I'm glad. That's great. Christmas hmm? is, is a wonderful. All the people hung up all the lights outside. It's so pretty to take a walk, and there's like light everywhere. And, and what are, what are the lights supposed to symbolize? It's just light in the dark. Do you know how dark it is here? Well, I know you're far, far fairly far north and have pretty short days. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, Moose that's, says no I, sound, but I don't think that's correct. Anybody else having no sound out there? No sound. 
Hello. Hello. Feed dropped. No, it's, it looks oh. like it's, everything's still going here. Everything's still Ooh. streaming normally. Anybody else having a problem? All right, Flash hears us. Oh, Flash hears us. Rob hears us, so. It's just Moose. Sorry, Moose. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, she ain't hearing me. I'm talking talking to my... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm talking to her. She ain't here. (laughs) (laughs) All right. uh, Yeah. Yeah. But the light, it's just because it's dark, Grimnir. It's been dark for, you know... Is there no sound in the dark? Long time out, and it's getting more and more dark. Is, Is there no sound in the dark? Yeah, there is. Oh, okay. But I, there's no light. And when you get no snow, do you know what snow is? Snow is like, because snow makes everything a little lighter. That was not my exact wording, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome back, Booth. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> oh, well, well, so you, you got the time for Christmas or you don't have the time for Christmas? You're too busy for Christmas. Well, I don't. I don't really do anything, so I don't really need time for Christmas. I just know that on that particular uh, day, whenever it is, if it's a weekday, if I'm expecting to get a package or whatever, it's not going to happen because somebody mm-hmm. decided that this is a day to celebrate this thing, which is not actually that thing, but that's what they tell you the thing is. At least okay. here, here in the U.S., they say. This day, Christmas, December 25th, is the day of Jesus' birth, which, of course, it's not, but, or wasn't. Okay, but, okay, listen to this. Making the Just assumptions be happy that, a little. Making the assumptions, right. of course, that Jesus did actually exist and was born on a particular day uh, by their own uh, wording and the, the way they describe it, it was... In the is in the spring or summer. It was not in the middle of winter. <laughs> no, 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 Jesus Christ! Come on, Jesus for real? Are we talking Jesus? Jesus freaking Christ! <laughs> okay, so so you you think Jesus? You know the Jesus in the Bible actually existed? I didn't say he does, and I didn't say he doesn't. So you're 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 agnostic about um, the validity of of Jesus. I'm agnostic about the validity of most things. Because <laughs> I'm just going to say, uh, a bunch of people getting together and writing about some dude they think existed 500 years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. That doesn't mean you know anything in my world at all. Well, well, <laughs> Make well, me well. believe that there was such a guy living. Hey, you never know. Yeah. Uh, there should, I mean, there certainly could have been. He could also be uh, an amalgamation, a conglomeration of a bunch of other other stories that have been Any others? told throughout yeah. that. Uh, anyway, let me let I me would... let me comment here on on Rob Works uh, comment. He said, "I like present time. Presents are awesome." There was a, <laughs> there was an old bit by the uh, Smothers Brothers. Uh, you, you remember the Smothers Brothers? Uh, sure. When, when I someday become seventy-five, I will remember this mother's brother. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Tommy. Tommy is one of the mother's brothers. Uh, and he, and he Tommy, said, Tommy's mother's of the mother's brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, did you say that? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Tommy's mother's. Okay. Okay. Anyway, he did he, his he, mom not like him. Would you think his mom would like him if he called him Tommy's mother's? I don't know. This is his mom. Sure, she's gonna like him. And anyway, he made a comment in one of the, one of their bits. Uh, you know the old saying: "It's better to to give than receive." Yeah. Yeah. Well, he changed that. Oh, so it's better to receive than give. No. Hmm. It's better to have gifts than receipts. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, that always made me laugh. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> better, to, better to have gifts and receipts. Um. <laughs> yeah. I don't buy a lot of gifts, though, for Christmas. I'm not a big buyer You're, of gifts. You make, you make most stuff, right? I mean, you, you I knit, make gifts, yeah. knit and crochet and... Yeah, then I buy for, like, my, you know, my mom and... And, 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 and... and, and, and what do you give to Flash? Like a smack upside the head? 
I have a surprise for him this year that he doesn't know anything about. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> it's really hard because I don't do surprises, right? And there's like 20, 25 days to go. And I already sat on it for like a week. Okay, well, just make sure you... Uh... No, I'm going to keep tight. Yeah, uh, secret. Yeah. Secret. Got to yeah. keep that secret. Yeah. <laughs> but see, that's another great thing about Christmas, though, when we're speaking about time, right? Now, he doesn't know what he's getting. Okay, so go and ahead. He, he's not going to bug me. Uh, but um, he's got this smooth. year, right? Yeah, okay. I calculate uh, that's five extra, uh, that's five paid vacation days throughout the Christmas for me. Because it's holidays. Okay. So that's another thing about Christmas, right? You've been working and working, and, cause, and then you have these holidays to just give you a break. And, and he, maybe then, then Grimnir can't get his parcel delivered for that one day, but whoop de doop de Yeah, yeah. People oh. get to take the day off. I know. <laughs> Be with their families. Oh, boy. Because here most things close, right? Yeah, almost everything closes. I, I, For three I, days. I remember, uh, you know, like Christmas is in the past. Christmas mm -hmm. past. The ghost of Christmas past. When, like, okay, um, I, I, you know, wanted to go and get a burger or something. And too bad, so sad, none of those places are open. But that's kind of neat, though. Well, it People is unless you're hungry. You, unless you're hungry, you don't have food. No, then you should cook some food. Well, yeah, but see, you know, in days days gone by, many years ago, I was not so much of a cooker. I was more of a person that went out to eat. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. I see your dilemma. I still like the unwinding of the Christmas days, though. No, it's great, and and you know, it's uh, it's, it's it's got that kind of feel about it where. Uh, some people tend to be nicer for those that short time, yeah. and um, yeah. not a family man, not a family man. Uh, no, I do have a brother that lives in San Diego and a sister that lives in Seattle. They're... No, but there is such a thing as taking, um, feeling pleasure about other people having a chance to wind down and not having to work. Okay. Right. And does your does your place of employment give you those days extra, or do you have to take them? No, no. I um, on holidays, uh, the twenty fourth and twenty fifth, and the twenty eighth, which is a Monday. Those are all uh, paid vacation days. The company closes. Okay. And same goes for the uh, thirty one. You know, the thirty thirty first and the first Friday, the first January. Okay, Everybody so they give off. they they give you New Year's Eve off. Yeah, and the first oh. of January. See, most places I worked, they only gave you New Year's Day off, which was fine. I mean, especially if you were going to New Year's Eve parties and getting drunk, you needed New Year's Day to recover from your hangover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and most people on a Christmas like this, right? They add two, three extra vacation days, and then they have almost two weeks off. Right. Yeah. And the schools are closed, and so people are together. Okay. And how do you how do you feel since we're talking about days and time and rel religious holidays? Of course, yours yours more nature based than religious based, right? Yeah, because most of the Christians are old pagan. So yeah, pagan, pagan because, Christians. Yeah, most of the Christian traditions comes from the old uh, nature-based holidays. Like oh, you got I, the I, I know that. Day, which is like spring. Uh, I know that, but if they're Christians, then are they pagans? Uh, they were. They were. And, oh, I don't know about, about, but here in Denmark, right? We were Vikings, which is like many gods. Yeah. Pretty pagan, right? Poly polytheistic. Yeah, and 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 based in in nature and seasons and superstitions, right? 
Wow. And then the Christians came, and Jesus became one of the many gods. And and uh, by a stroke of a king, the the first king of Denmark, he made uh, the Danes Christian. He put up a, a rune stone, a big giant rune stone, and said, by this I make the Danes Christian. And in order for people to eat, you know, go with that, a lot of the, the uh, uh, traditions and rituals, they merged with Christianity. So when we had solstice uh, throughout the winter days and we were doing, you know, or not we, I wasn't there, <laughs> but, but the old days, they were doing the Feast of Light throughout the whole of December and eating all the way up to, um, and then they were fasting into February, right? No food for, until February where you have another holiday. And then when spring comes and you have all the um, the the changes into the spring, you have the Easter, which is another uh, nature holiday that became something Christian. Right. Because it's all about the holidays, though. Or the seasons. Seasons. I understand that. Yeah. I, yeah. I understand celebrating, uh, you know, the beginning of spring. So there you, you, you can do your planting. I understand midsummer because you're in, in the midst of all of your because yeah. it, because it's all about food, really, right? <laughs> yeah, harvest. As Rob says, it's everything is harvest. Yeah, and uh, and, then, and then in the uh, fall, you, you, then you, you celebrate the actual harvest, uh, mm-hmm. September twenty first. There, uh, mm-hmm. so no, I, I understand that. That makes perfect sense to me because. Without the food, you got nothing, right? You're all die. Mm. And it's big events in nature, right? Just imagine how dreary it must have been living here with no lights. For it's dark, Grimner. It's like you have daylight for seven hours a day or something. Right. The rest of the time it's just dark. Well, you got fire, right? Yeah, but it would still be pretty fucking dark living there, right? <laughs> oh, sure, but I mean, you can. <sighs> You can put lights up, uh, you know, whether yes. it's fire yep. or electricity or gas or whatever. Um, mm. So, so I mean, of course it's dark. You can't be out working in the fields in the dark. We still do here, Rob, worry about the harvest. If we had, you know, that one, we had a, a couple of years ago, we had a lot of drought. Mm-hmm. Which meant, which meant that um, they took a lot of the um, meat cattle early because uh, they didn't have enough uh, food to feed them, right? Right. So they had to. So so uh, that changed the whole dynamics. And instead of uh, beef, we had a lot of veal, and you know that had to, you know, it had to shift the whole trading system because of harvest. That the you know they had to change a lot of their routines and how they would butcher and what them would um, because harvest went bad that year and you had to put down a lot of the cattle early. Yeah, yeah, no, I can see that. So in Denmark, harvest is still a big thing. Yeah, well, I think it's a big thing everywhere. It certainly is a big thing here in New Mexico. Um, <laughs> you and, have great and, harvest parties. Well, not exactly, but uh, I mean, um, <laughs> without we get we get often periodic droughts, okay? Oh, um, yeah, Ouch. which is bad for the farmers, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. And and you know, one of the big crops coming out of here is uh, the uh, chili peppers. Mm. And that's that's a that's a big New Mexico uh, crop that get gets shipped everywhere. As well as the pinot beans, but the chili peppers gets all the you know all the attention more than the Ooh, pinot those beans. Those are the stars. Yeah, yeah, they're the stars of the show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so, so it, they, you know, there's always a lot of talk uh, about what, how is the chili crop doing this year? How how are we going to be? Do we get enough rain? Is mm-hmm. there enough rain coming down the the Rio Grande River in in order for the farmers in order to to grow as much product as they grew last year, um, yeah, and th- so that's 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 one of the bigger things here. You know, pinto beans they they don't need much water, but chili peppers do. Um, mm. And uh, oh yeah, we also have you know uh, pecans and uh, other various nuts that grow well here. 
mm. that, that they talk about. But chili peppers, that's I, that's that's the big thing. I, I think it's a. I don't think it's a bad thing. Be that grounded to earth and season stuff. No, no, I think it's good. It's good to mm-hmm. to know your surroundings and, and what's going on. Um, and be humbled a little. Yeah, okay. or a lot. <laughs> yeah, or a lot. yeah, I know. America, you have that humbling weather, though, right? Well, at times, in, in certain places. I mean, you know, they, I, I would say hurricanes are pretty humbling for people that oh, live in yeah. hurricane zones. Because yeah. those things, they don't care. They just come through and do whatever they do. They're not. Yeah. They're not coming there to, to kill you. But if you happen to be in their way, there's a good chance that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. We don't have weather like that. Then. Yeah. So we had we had a storm in '99. A storm in '99. Yeah, a big storm twenty in twenty 99. odd years ago. You had a storm. <laughs> we still talk about the storm of ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time we had like crazy weather. That was a storm in ninety nine. You just don't get storms, huh? We get windy and we think of it, we go, Oh, we even started naming them. The wind? <laughs> yeah, when we think we have a storm, right? Well, here comes Frank the Storm, right? He's he's going to take a few roof tiles from some houses. <laughs> oh, okay. well, oh, no, then, beware. Uh, danger, danger. See, it used to be here that they did not name the winter storms. They were just winter storms. Um, and yeah. now, now they're giving them all names, like hurricanes get names. You and started it, and now I, they're doing it here. I didn't start it. <laughs> and you even have storms that are, you know, you have weather that's worth remembering. Yeah, well. Yeah. Well, a lot of places in the world do. Um, it's, mm. it's not just USA. USA. No. USA. <laughs> but but they now now they they call it any little disturbance. They call it a storm, and people freak out over it, and and. Uh, they give it a name. Oh, Marianne is coming, and and she is gonna kick your ass. Everybody has to evacuate. Uh, lock down, batten down the hatches, and all that crap. Um, <laughs> and then they try to the save here, and, and then and, and then the shit the shit never happens. And they no. say, oh well, you know, at least you were safe during that time that that you were evacuated and your house got <laughs> looted. <laughs> they evacuated. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you have some crazy storm. I, I just, uh, you know, not you, you, but there are some crazy storms in America, though. There are, there are. Yeah. 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 Especially through we the don't. Gulf region, the, the the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have anything big in Denmark. Well, like Denmark's storms, not Denmark's big. not big, so. No, and nothing is big here. Or dramatic, or huge, or large. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you uh, see, that's why we need holidays and seasons to like break up the monotonous of living. Oh, okay. I haven't seen no. I haven't walked in snow for three years, duh. We got a little snow yesterday for like two hours. White flakes fell from the sky, but they melted as soon as they landed. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Have you been getting snow? You got snow early, right? Yeah, and we'll get more eventually here. I mean, it's not even winter yet, so... uh, It's not? No, no, winter starts on December 21st, which is when you start your little holiday celebration. Sun, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's when winter starts, and uh, so I mean, you know, we we've had a few snows that have lasted for a few hours, and some you know built up some good snow on the ground, but um, you know, we had a couple of days now with minus degrees, minus three, four, five degrees. Yeah, you know, the the plants, the trees. Start shedding leaves, plants start dying or whatever, going into their winter mode. 
um, in September, October range. Wow, everything is wow. That's insane, Grimier. Why? Because it's just insane. That yeah, well, so you you, you know, you. you know that that <laughs> that that this, this period of the year is called fall. No, no, but, I'm in winter. Everything's been dead. My yeah, garden is dead. Yeah, but but it's called it's fall because that's time. when that's when all the the leaves start falling off the trees. Falling. Oh, yes. Yes. We don't call it fall here, though. What do you call it? Autumn. F the O. What? F the O. F the O. F the O. F the Ho. Yeah, it's something like F the Ho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's what we call it, F the Ho. Frank. <laughs> but we're in winter. That's I don't know how else to describe it. It's minus degrees, man. Okay. So okay, back to the original concept here. Mm. Even time. even without time, without measuring time as it is, you would still know what season it was, more or less. Yes. You would know that at this period of time, this 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 what's going on right now in the world, the world's cooling down, at least the northern hemisphere. Um <laughs> Which again, and you got to deal with that southern hemisphere stuff. Uh, uh, you don't have to, but it, it's just a thing. Um. <laughs> well, that's because you're an equator dweller. I'm not. The equator's far, far away from me. You're closer to equator though than me. Oh, you're closer than you, but still a long, <laughs> more, a long ways so, from it. Yeah, most are closer than me. But yeah. 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 yeah, you're a you're a pole sitter. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's all about division, man. You fucking equator dweller. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. mid Earth kind of low life, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so <laughs> anyway, um, so even without uh, the concept, a of calendar. Time, yeah, well, whatever the concept of time. Yeah, uh, you you would still know. Okay, uh, it's getting colder. That means it's going to be less light every period of time known as a day. Um, <laughs> because yeah. we know this because we've experienced it before. So if we look to the past, uh, mm -hmm. then, then we can guess what's going to happen in the future. Yeah, exactly. W without, with or without time uh, being, being a factor involved. But that is time, though. It is, but if... It's just not man-made concept of time. It is time, though. Without the measurement involved. I was looking here. I have up on yeah. my screen right now the lyrics, it's... the lyrics to a song called Time. Time. Yeah. Ticking away the moments that make up a dull day. Fritter and waste the hours. In an offhand way, kicking around on a piece of ground in your hometown, waiting for someone or something to show you the way. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, you know that, right? Yeah, no, I didn't know that. I liked it, though. You, you'd know that. You, that. That's Pink Floyd, time. No, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that now. Okay. Yeah, it goes on. Yeah. Yeah. No, Pink Floyd moves. Yeah. Time. Yeah. You, first you hear all the, the alarm bells ringing. <laughs> I, can't, I can't make alarm bell sounds. <laughs> you can't make alarm bell sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they go. But you know what the best thing about time, though, is? Tell me. Wasting it, right? On fiddling about and doing absolutely nothing. Okay. That's my favorite thing about time. And then, as the uh, guy says in Blade Runner, it comes along to everybody. Time to die. Ooh, because <laughs> life sucks and then you die. Well, no, I, uh, yeah, well, it, it may or may not. 
<laughs> I'm going to tell you one thing though, right? Time, you know, like seconds, time is the one resource you're always going to have enough of. There's always you? going to be plenty of time coming your way. Yes, because the minute you run out of it, right? No, not even the minute, right? The whatever lag of your brain, which I'm sure is an individual thing, how much we lag individually. Mm -hmm. But the, from from that moment, all right, it doesn't matter. You, you're never going to run out of time. Well, a time for what, though? That's a different thing. Yeah, but I'm see. telling you, for every second, you know, seconds is the one thing, you know, just you're just going to roll your way. There's no scarcity of seconds. No, seconds keep on coming. They just keep on rolling and whatever. And they're all and they, and, and they keep on going. Yeah, they keep on going. <laughs> they keep on coming <laughs> and scarcity. they keep on going. Yeah, and the minute you run out, that it, it doesn't matter. You're not going to be here. It, <laughs> you're not going <laughs> to experience the moment you run out of time. It doesn't matter. But then, you, then, then, well, depending on what you believe, of course, mm. uh, when you are, when you do run out of time as here on Earth, mm. um, then you're into the ether where there is no time. Woo, there you go. Or it there, really or matter. you could say there is oh, no only time. Right? There is no time, or is there is all time at the same time? Yes, the omni, the omni of everything, where everything already happened and everything is, right? Yeah, every uh, so the you sum of all. You can right? see what we would consider the past and the future as clearly as you can see the now. Yes, because they're the same omni, right? You're just we're just forced as three-dimensional beings to walk that three-dimensional line of time. But it doesn't matter because everything that could happen and everything that is that can happen and everything that's going to happen has already happened. Right. It's all, it's all there. In the, it's all there. In the timeline. <laughs> or the ether. Right? Yeah, yeah. I would say I would say that the, the shape you're looking for is much so much as a time, right? Because for every and this is this is not just something I pull out of my ass, though, right? This is a, a known theory, though, that for every time something makes a choice, or every time there is one or more, or there are two or more possibilities of an outcome, which is pretty much, if you think about, you know, the just you know the universe, right? Right. That every time that happens. The universe splits up and make uh, all the universes of outcomes, possible outcomes there is. So you have multiverses where every outcome and everything that could happen and would happen and will happen, they all exist. Right? And you have these branches. And you're just walking one of them, which is what you're experiencing right now, right? Right. But all of them are there and are being walked by something else or someone else experiencing those. So yeah. that would mean there's an infinite, you know, an infinite amount of you too, of Grimnirs walking all these almost exactly the same lines through time with small variations, and some of those variations lead to very different outcomes. So would you say that time is not an absolute? Uh, I would say that for some reason. Uh, and this is what Einstein said, though, isn't it? Yeah. Is that uh, that um, time and speed are so interlinked that you can't you can't go past the absolute. Which means, right, if you move faster than the speed of time or the speed of light, then time will slow down, and and, and at some point it will even halt, right? So that nothing um, over uh, oversteps the, the the constraint of the absolute. Okay, and we'll have to wrap it up on that comment. <laughs> it's like what what does says time is like a rubber band, right? I guess I don't know. I got rubber bands here; they don't look like they're doing anything. Um, uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> speaking of time, we are out of time. Oh, we're out of time. We're out of time. So, That's uh, because Grimnir, mean, you're such a, a slave driver to the clock. I well, I'm a, I'm a slave to the clock. 
Whatever. Are you driving? The, you're a slave driver too. I'm, I'm not. I'm not driving the clock. You're forcing me to do it too. I know. Anyway, folks, thanks for tuning in and listening to us ramble on about nonsense, because that's what we do here. Um, yeah. <laughs> and we'll come back in 167 hours. This is 168 hours in a week. Wow, 168 hours. Yep. So we'll come back in 167 hours and uh, talk about some other nonsense. Yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, check Wait the time. check the schedule on reallibertymedia.com dot com and rlmradio dot x y z for other stuff that's going to spend some of your time here listening to whatever it is they talk about. Yeah. <laughs> well, y'all have a great day, and yeah. we will uh, talk to you at a later time. <laughs> Peace.